Hi, I'm Frederick Fall Lemery. I'm Professor of Computing here at Goldsmith, which I joined about five years ago now, from, coming from the US. Uh, I was at Brown University back then, working in archaeology and computing already, so crossing the barrier between arts, humanities and uh, science. At Goldsmith, pretty much, it's pretty much the same story, uh, but I've started to work with artists in other domains. Uh, one uh, illustrative project uh, is called ICON, A-I-K-O-N, which stands for the Artificial um, Artistic Iconograph. Uh, what we're doing in that project is we are uh, recreating the mind of the artist as it creates uh, portraits of uh, humans, typically, but potentially uh, from other um, subjects. Uh, the projects involve an artist, so I'm working with a, um, a student, uh, now a PhD student, called Patrick Tresse, who's an artist who started by, uh, in painting and then evolved uh, into portrait with uh, focusing on sketching, what's called sketching, which is rapid um, illustrative portraits. So what we've done together is we've tried to understand um, more, in more detail how, what does he do, how does he think, how does he use the knowledge he's gained from art school and his own experience as an artist uh, when he creates a portrait of uh, a given subject, a given person. And we've broken the, that down into a, a few steps and we can simulate each of these steps building um, a, essentially software. There's also a part of this project which is uh, about robotics, so this sort of a simulation of the mind of, of the artist as it creates under the influence of an image essentially, so looking at the face of someone, um, can also be used to uh, drive a robot arm. So we, uh, we've also started to, to uh, design our own, own robotic arm. So these are simple robots which are just essentially uh, made of few joints and they, they represent the arm which is driven by the a simulator of the mind of uh, that artist. At the moment, Icon um, has been focused on um, the, st the type of style that this artist uh, has um, come up with. But in the future, we want to extend that project to apply the knowledge we've gained in, in sort of simulating the mind of a particular person to other artists and uh, other um, non-experts as well. Uh, so we can, you can think of how children draw compared to adults, these kinds of studies. Getting involved in the creative computing is actually a very good way to give you a, an entry point into this area of computing, which is a uh, novel, which tries to um, uh, apply computing to um, areas which are not typically thought to be uh, re relevant to computing. Uh, so everything that's um, around the arts, creative again, design is another area of interest where we can uh, bridge uh, and go from science to uh, design. Design very important also in the notion of interface. If you go the other way around, that is, you take experts in design and how can they impact on uh, what we do. So we, we were usually not very good at, the, at, at coming up with good interface, but people in design are very good. So if you bridge those gaps, you become an exceptional uh, person.